Hey, notice the logo and the nav menu at the top there. Watch what happens when I scroll down. The, the, a little white bar appears and it, start, it shrinks down. The text shrinks as so does the logo. How did we do that? With some really easy CSS code and I'm gonna show you how to build that right now. So let's keep this really simple. We have a container over here that just has a background image in here. And then above that, we have another container. Now normally you might actually start with the container that's gonna contain your logo and your items. And I'm gonna have this overlap, this second contain here, but I just wanna show you the layout. Now this container at the top has got two child containers inside. I'm gonna to go to my parent container and make this be a full width. You can have it boxed width if you want. I'm just going with full width. And into my two child containers, I'm gonna ensure they are full width as well. Now container number one of the child, I'm gonna make that be 20% and the second child container, I'm gonna make be 80% because we're gonna put a logo in um, into ch parent, no, child container number one and then we're gonna put the nav menu into child container number two. Now inside of container number one, I'm not really specifying the height or anything like that. Um, and to be honest, there isn't really much I need to do. Now into container one, I'm gonna drop in two images. I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna stick in an image. And the first image I'm gonna pick will be white image because it's gonna be overlapping. So I'm gonna hit insert there. Now this image you can't actually see at the moment, but it is there because it's currently on a white background. I'm gonna set this to be a full, gonna to go to my style, and I'm gonna set it to be a pixel width of 100. Again, you can't really see anything, but there is something very, very important you must do. Go over to the advanced tab, go down to where you have the CSS class, and I'm gonna call this original logo like that. Because we're gonna drop in a bit of CSS and it's gonna pick up that and it's gonna know it's the original logo. Now, while I'm here, I might as well do a duplicate change the duplicate to now be the modified. Oh, and by the way, both of my images are exactly the same size. That can help. It doesn't have to be the same size, but it can help quite a bit. Let's now insert that one in. In fact, I'm just gonna hit left for a moment on both of them for consistency. If I go back to the duplicated one, this now is called original logo. I'm gonna change this one to be called scroll hyphen logo. So you can see what it's doing there. Into container number two, I might as well go and drop in my nav menu. I mean, it might feel like I'm going through this quite fast, but I want to just show how simple and easy it is to do. So let's drop in a nav menu. I'm going to put it on the right aligned. I'm definitely going to get rid of the pointer there. I really do hate pointers. And I'm going to make this be a white font uh, for the color, like so. And I'm gonna give it a typography size of 18 pixel because what we're gonna do is that when you scroll down, not only will it all change color and the background as well, but the size of the font will go from 18 to 16 pixel. So we're gonna shrink it as you go down. Um, I think there's something I did forgot to do actually. If I go back over to my, sorry, my second image here, which is the scroll logo, I know I went and set the size to be 100 for the original logo. In the scroll logo, the second duplicated one, remove the size because we're gonna shrink the size as well. So the nav menu and everything is gonna shrink. So the original logo, which is this one, has got a size of 100 pixel. The duplicate one has no size and it is set as scroll logo. Now, if we go back over to our nav menu, you can mess around with the colors and anything else you wanna do on there. But the key bit is if you go to the advanced tab and you go to CSS class, we have to give it a peculiar name. Menu text colors. Yeah, I know it's long, but it's it's the most reasonable name I could come up with because the code we use here, you can apply to menu, icons, basically anything where you put that CSS class in for consistency and it will make sense in a moment. Now, the only other thing I'm gonna do before we drop in the code is go over to my container uh, it is set as a full width. I'm gonna go to my advanced tab. I'm just gonna give it, in fact, we'll give it about five padding left and right. And again, you can't see anything. I know you're showing at the screen right now, but trust me, it is all there. And the other thing I'm gonna do is give this entire container, the parent container, a ZZ index of 9,999. Now I'm going to go to my, in fact, no, we'll stop there for a moment. Now I'm gonna drop in the code. So we go over to our 
custom CSS and we drop this code in. Now let's just study the code because it hasn't really done anything yet because we haven't applied like the offset of the motion effects and I'm coming on to that. What I'm saying here is that the background of our um, section container at the moment, in fact, I'm just gonna make sure that this container does have no background applied at the moment. I'm just gonna make sure it's fully transparent like that. Did you see that there? If I change it, you can start to see colors there, but I'm gonna make it fully transparent. So again, one of the tips I forgot there is make sure your background doesn't have a color. You could add in a color and then it will overwrite it. But I'm setting it from transparent on the get go. Let's go back over to our code. So it is saying after you scroll, um, apply a 0.5 second transition where it now changes to be white AC. The AC means it's not fully white. It's a little bit transparent. If you want it fully white, take away the AC. Then what it says is the scroll logo, which is our duplicate logo, is set to not be displayed. But after you scroll, it makes it all inline. And then what it will now do is it will now display the scroll logo. So originally invisible, then it will display it uh, at 80 pixel. The original logo is 100 pixel. So when it reveals it, it will be 80 pixel and it applies it with 0.5 second transition. Um, and basically you can see what's going on there. So it appears as within a second, in fact, that should be, I've, I've just realized that and it should be 0.5, yeah. So, that, so at 0.5, it will appear and it shrinks down to size. The original logo will disappear. So the original logo is visible, but it will now become none. And you'll notice the word elemental sticky effects. That's the standard uh, description you wanna be using here. When we now scroll down and we get to the nav menu, remember, menu text colors, this will now say change the color, which is currently white. And I know you can't see it yet. Change it to a magenta reddish color, the web squadron color. Change the size to be 16 pixel. If there is any line height, make it zero. I have found if you don't add in the line height, sometimes it doesn't really shrink much. Uh, and the color transition, the font size, the line height, all of it is 0.5 second. So let's just hit update there for a moment. So now let's go and add in our final bit, which is the motion effects and the layout. So we go over to our layout first of all, not layout, sorry, go to our motion effects. We're gonna make the container be a sticky top. But the key thing is the effects, because at the moment it's gonna it's applying the transition with um, the new logo, which is dark, and the color change of magenta and the semi-transparent white straight away. Remember, the original logo was white. The font should be white. The background should be transparent. It should not be applying any of this yet. So I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna change this to be 200 like that. We go back to everything kind of being invisible and look what happens when I scroll down about 200 pixels. Eventually you can see the switch going on there. And did you notice the word shop? It is shrinking down as does the white bar. But it all looks a little bit weird at the moment. So let's go to our image container and let's just give it some negative margin. Oh, I don't know. Let's just go with something like that. Okay. We now view that and look and excuse the fact of how close it is to the margins because I'm just showing you how this works. It's all transparent. So white font and everything there. We got the white logo. Look at the size of the wording over here and the size of that um, uh, logo there. When you shrink down, did you see that? I mean, yeah, the... The logo does jump a bit. I, I do admit that the logo does jump a bit, but can you see the width of the height of that white bar? That white bar shrinks and you get a semi-transparent one. The wording is shrunk and we get a bit of font. You would probably want to go for a much better font color there, but I just wanted to show you. And when you look at the code, you will know what you need to change to make it work for you. But that is a really simple way of changing colors. I mean, you could drop in an icon here, Make sure you give the icon a t uh, the class name of menu text colors, and it will do the same thing again. This is really, really simple, easy. I'm Imran Web Squad, and I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. I'll see you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit. Do it right, play the game, win your life, have no shame. There's no time for the pain, let the grind. I could change in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb. The only way to win in life. I never miss that fact. Taking big swings, bitch, hand me the bat. Put me in the ring.